Hello, madam. Welcome to my channel, Sarah Love Sparkles. Now, you're probably wondering why we're dressed like this. And actually, you probably saw it from the title. <laughs> but I thought it would be a great idea to plan a Bridgerton tea party. At right home. Sarah, at home, yeah. And um, at first it was going to be a surprise. She found out very quickly. So you kind of see that evolve <laughs> throughout the video. And it got to be like way bigger than I even imagined it to be. And we had so much fun with this. So uh, let's take you along and we'll show you how it came to be. Okay, look at the state of the backyard right now. He has been wild all weekend doing this. So got to pick it all up. The backyard is currently a mess, so the first thing I'm going to do is pick all of Hudson's things up, but I am also building this beautiful wedding arch thing that I got, so hopefully that turns out really, really cute, but here's some of the pieces, but there are a lot more. We are getting there. We are getting there with this, <laughs> but I promise it's going to turn into a beautiful, like, Bridgerton-esque area soon. Ant's been distracted several times today, huh, buddy? Yes, she has. But we got this belt. I love it. Yeah, so she knows what's going on. I know what's going on. So here is the balloon arch. It's actually a little bigger than I thought. So I'm actually going to put flowers on it for our tea, but it would be perfect for balloons, perfect for everything, and it stores down really small, too click together really really easy so this is a, this is like a win product of wisteria because it's not bridgerton without wisteria so i'm gonna try to put these on and see how that looks can you do it with me well why don't you come on up here i have help a flooded of purple it looks so so cute this is the wisteria vines that we're setting up for our bridgerton tea and I have them bundled in packs of like five. I put them together like this and kind of trim them off so that I can just stick a pack up and bunch it together because I like it the way it looks like bunched up. So that's why I would, I would recommend buying these in bulk. Beautiful. I think since the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. That, you know, I was trying to surprise you with the tea. I know. You know. I know. Okay, you get it. I get it. How's about you help me with the cooking? Oh, I would love that. Would you like to do oh, a sister cooking love, day before? I would love that, yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll get that going and I'm going to show you the menu. I have all the decorations set and a little favor for you, so that's a <laughs> secret. I think you'd be the best to help with the cooking. Oh, I would love that. Okay, so these are favors for us to wear for our Bridgerton tea. I'm gonna do the gold one because I think Sarah's gonna like this one much better. So um, yeah, but super, super cute. I'm gonna set these up on the table. A crown that fits me. A crown that fits you? Put it on your head. Well, if it fits. There it is. The arch is ready for us to put the table underneath and I think it's really, really cute. I ended up using two packs, two of the 24 packs of um, Wisteria and it turned out super, super good to just bunch them up because individually it wasn't um, so much. One of the individual strands of Wisteria looks kind of like three of these together, but bunching them up really did a really really like wow job so that was totally worth it i realized i built wrong <laughs> this is supposed to go on the bottom and there's supposed to be a little lift on this heart part so i'm gonna just rebuild that and um that's where we'll be setting our treats okay so that is much better i am going to go ahead and put this one on the bottom and make sure that this little heart piece is extended above the treat so it doesn't touch them so that is where we're at now Okay, so then that is how it's supposed to look. Um, much better lift on that, so I like that a lot better already. Let's get real. Built correctly, it's even more beautiful. Oh man, I cannot wait to see this on there. Are you coming to see Sarah? Is like running. Oh, I'm coming to see yeah. Ooh, Built correctly, yeah. it's oh, better, yeah, right? It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Tea without chargers. These chargers are super cheap, super simple. They came from Dollar Tree. 
I'm doing something that she is not going to see coming, and it is this croquet set. It's croquet, croquette, croquet, I don't know. But this is the most Bridgerton thing I own, and it is adorable. Do I know how to play? Absolutely not. Will I learn? You better believe I will. So it comes with this little bottom and this little top, and you put that in there. Give a nice twist. And looks like I am ready to win some croquet. It came with this really cute carrying case, and look at the colored balls here. It matches all the colors of the sticks. And then these, I'm not 100% sure what to do with these pieces yet, but we are gonna figure it out. I'm gonna look it up and then like give Sarah the rules, and hopefully I win. I just finished making the menu and um, I'm gonna show Sarah but I think it turned out really cute. I can add this file for download on um, Sarah's website just in case you want to like duplicate it yourself. So today is the day of the tea. We are gonna be cooking most of the day to get everything ready but first I'm gonna make some infused water. This is a jug that I got on Amazon. I love the size. It has this cute little spout so easy to make really good infused water and I think it's gonna feel like very Regency era to go pick some lemon and maybe some rosemary infuse it into this water and have that set for the day while we get everything prepared. Sarah's making up on me. I am. I'm making infused water. She, infused water? She didn't know. She has the menu now. I have the menu. She has snuck in her way into planning this with me. It is no longer a sister <laughs> surprise. So we're going to be cooking here in a little bit. Set the menu. And get we're going to put all the recipes in the shorts, right? Yeah. In shorts. YouTube shorts. We'll do yeah. YouTube shorts with the recipes. I'll do some stuff on your website and make it easier for people to click on and stuff. And put it all together in a playlist yeah. or something like All that. together. It'll be easy for you. You'll find it. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, I was so impressed with the menu you came up with. Oh wow. So impressed. That's a good yeah. thing because she's the cook yeah. of the house. I'm the crafter. I'm not the cook. Yeah. So I'm happy about that. But I don't know why I thought I would get away with like cooking without telling her. <laughs> oh wow. Live and learn. We are going to pick some foods to some infuse. Food? Some foods to infuse. Foods to infuse? Fruits then. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We're in our backyard. We don't really have food growing, but I want some the rosemary. Of rosemary. All right. Yeah. How many? Like. Oh, this one's huge. This one's. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! I'll get it. I'll get it. I got pants on. I'll get it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it rolled out. That should be enough, right? I'll give me like two more. This one I'm gonna use since it's like huge, just like the biggest lemon I've ever seen. I'm going to use as like the one that I squeeze because I don't even know if it's gonna fit in there. But I'm just gonna cut these lemons, stick them in the middle, and then I'm gonna put these rosemary stalks in the middle and add water. So it's finished, huh? Yeah, I love that. It's like a mason jar with like an infuser yeah. with a that's spout. What it looks like. But it's finished though too, so you can see everything that I added in here. I think it'd be cute to do berries too. That'd be really cute. That and it's so kind of like perfect for so many different themes. Yeah, I think so too. But now I'm gonna put this in the fridge, get it all nice and cold, and then Ooh. just turn it on and out it comes. Cool. I love peach upside down cake. Peach whistle upside down, down cake. Yeah. I called it whistle down. Whistle down peach upside down cake, so we're gonna get started on that. And um, yeah, I'll make it all in the YouTube short. Yeah, it's super easy to so. They're coming out really cute, and I was telling Heather, I don't think I've mixed my own cake in probably a whole year, huh, Hudson? So, yes, the cake mixer is here. Okay, here you go. Oh, I'm sorry, I turned it on for them. I didn't know this is the Hudson only part. Yeah, that's the Hudson part. Okay. Right, Hudson? That's the Hudson part. Yeah. 
Yep, Hudson has mixed every cake. We make cakes together for every birthday and everything. He even wanted to make his own birthday cake. So I guess they have some fun. Got done making some of those cutie pie uh, donuts. Sarah is gonna make cookies. I'm gonna do the cookies right yeah. now. And you think I should I do what? I had to change my dress. That's, that's even was horrible. That was a bad dress. Please tell me next time I'm wearing a horrible dress. That was a horrible dress. It was horrible. Yeah. But you say <laughs> no. What do you got there? Who's that? This is uh, one of those uh, viral strawberry cutters. Oh my gosh, how yeah, cool! And I'm gonna use it to cut up some of this um, melting oysters. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's gonna be in here cooking, and I'm gonna go and get the stage set for us. The backyard, I'm gonna Bridgerton esque it. Cool, and can't wait. Yeah, so let's go our separate ways for a little while. Alright. Glory is helping me. Somehow, Hudson is like a tornado, and he comes and he messes it up every chance he gets. But um, this is where I think I'm gonna be setting us up. It's gonna be really cute. We got plenty of butterflies out. Ooh, that was kind of romantic. Look at this too. Oh my gosh, it's magic. It is coming along. I got the croquet set up, arches in place, and I plugged in my nugget ice maker. So this should make like little nuggets of ice. They're just like cuter than regular ice and have it outside for our drinks. And I know Sarah, she likes iced tea best. So I'm sure this will go a long way. So just, I just set it up, just started. Put the water down in the bottom, got it all cleaned out. So we'll come back and check to see when it starts making some ice. Hi. Hi. So, we are coming down to it. We're coming like, to it. Those baskets are like... Oh, super cute. They smell so good. They do smell so good. That's why I came out. I was wondering. They smell so good. We've just doing. been going back and forth on who's cooking, who's doing what. Yeah. It's actually been quite fun though. I think. You think? I'm just gonna... <gasps> I'm just gonna... <laughs> Sarah, that's a, not a time for jokes like that. So this is a beautiful tea set that I got on Amazon. And if you look at it, it has these beautiful gold details on it. I think this is perfect for Bridgerton, so I am going to wash it up and set the table with it. But it has so many pieces. It has little plates, it has the actual teapot. It even has little spoons if you want to take your tea bag out or, um, sugar or whatever so we got a little I mean, you don't think it's clean and sugar it is really 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 a cute set it is time for you to get ready for your tea okay so i'm coming to check it all out and i'm loving it it's oh here comes the teacups this table is a little bit small for what we're doing but oh well that's okay this came out so cute. I think this is perfect for, you know, any kind of event, weddings, parties, birthdays. Balloons can go on it, flowers could go on it, and it just enhanced our whole little afternoon tea set up here. I love, love, love it. Plus, it just looks really good, like, as a big statement piece behind me. And I love that how they found this nugget ice maker. I love ice and um, yeah just look at the shape of that and it looks kind of like that soft crunch kind. Can't wait to put this in some iced tea. And this infused water was such a nice touch to our afternoon tea. It tastes so good and refreshing too plus it just looks so cute. And this menu she made is so cute. She really pays attention to all the little details and is just so creative when it comes to all these names and everything like that. Yeah, but such a cute setup. I love it. And look at how beautiful these teacups are. We're gonna get Hudson's little afternoon tea outfit on. He's kind of gonna be the waiter here, but also the very special guest. Come on, Hudson. 
Asa, this is going to be his little afternoon tea outfit. Oh, I got it from Amazon. And um, I love how it comes in this little box. Don't you love that? Yeah. Yeah. I love how it comes in that little box. Look at that. Even padded shoulders. Oh, I can't wait to get this on you. Yeah, what did it come with? Everything with a bow tie and this and a bow tie. Oh, yeah. Now, look at that guy. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Now that is sharp. That is his afternoon tea outfit. So I uh, hear we have an extra guest with the tea party. Hudson? Not just Hudson. Yeah. Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mom. I want to come to the party, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to my gosh, Hudson. You're too cute. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, yeah, Featherington yellow, huh? Oh yeah, let me see that spin. Do the spin, bud. Let's see ya. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Come to hot water. Yay. Okay. You'll get cold water, buddy. You can have some little guy tea. Oh. I'm not a little guy. You're not? No. What are you? I'm a big guy. You're a big guy, huh? Plus, the way this croquet set added to our whole afternoon tea experience is just so cool. It really fits the theme, and I just love it. Can't wait to play it. Did you get your big guy tea? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Stones are coming! Butter, and soon I will be bringing a jam. Okay, and look who else came just in time. Baby Star woke up just in time. Heather's really outdone herself with this one. It's so beautiful and so magical. I'm loving it. Those scones look so good. I think she got them from Trader Joe's, but um, they make great scones there. Yeah, we are ready. We're ready. We have the three tiers coming out with all of our treats. Yay! Yay. Oh, how beautiful! Oh, Ooh, yeah! yeah. Oh, and that tray. The only thing you have to keep in mind is I do have one sweet on the savory. Okay. <laughs> ready to start. Did you choose your cheese, Lady Fred? I did not. Are they staring too? Yeah. We have the tea assortment of Bridgerton on the menu. I know your favorite is the honey breakfast. Is that what you're going I love for the today? Honey Let's see. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am going to go with. Oh gosh. I'm going with Southern Tea. Blood Orange Mendoza. as many as you like. <laughs> She's doing a tea. What did you pick? Chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. Wow. Before we close out, we've got to play a game of croquet. Okay. What are you even aiming? I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Two, three, Let's see you get it in there. All right, get it in there, bud. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Hudson, good job. My turn. Your turn. So I want to play a little croquet with us. <laughs> She's watching you. She's watching you. Are you watching, Scott? This is where all your aunts stop. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was really, really fun. Really fun and so beautiful. You did such an amazing job. So did you. We did. Yeah, we, 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 we actually did, worked on it yeah, together. Yeah, we did. But this was all your idea, the Bridgerton tea. And now we're going to go um, watch Bridgerton. Yeah, we're going to do the Bridgerton Marathon. Yeah. So, um, closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. Favorite I savory, favorite sweet. 
The BLT. I loved oh, it. The BLT the, like, was really good. Crisp with the lettuce. Yeah, the BLT it. was really, really good. How about you? Uh, I'm gonna have to say, I always traditionally go with the cucumber sandwich. I know, that's I love like that one because it's always a classic amongst all the tea, and you make a really good cucumber sandwich. I do, yeah. So, I'm gonna say probably the cucumber sandwich, but the BLT was um, all exceptional. All of them are good, I love them all. Granted, I put the, the whole menu together based off of things I would enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> that's why like, I don't I don't eat salmon Oh my gosh, did you see that butterfly just There's been so many butterflies oh today, it's, it's like the perfect day for this. Yeah. Hello, madam. Thank you for joining us today. My favorite sweet, um, the red velvet cookie. Red velvet cookie, yeah. Yeah. And this tea set was just the perfect touch for our tea party. Okay, I, I have love it. I have a lot to say about it. I think it's so cute that it's simple and just white. You yeah, know? just a little gold. With the it. gold detail. The gold detail is elegant. But my favorite part <laughs> is the little crown in there. Yeah. But some tea sets are too bright or too colorful and like steal the attention. I like that this was kind of subtle. Yeah, and, and I love that it just went, it, it went perfect. There's enough pieces. I don't have them all out right now just because, I mean, obviously we're two people having tea. And but you yeah. could host with this tea you set. You can. And you know, speaking of um, other tea themes, I was thinking I can plan a tea for us like next month. Yeah? Yep. Okay. And I'll of course you'll help like that. I'll plan I'll plan the tea and I'll plan the menu next time and um yeah. Perfect. I'm in. If you saw anything that you liked today, please remember to give us a thumbs up so that we know and check out Sarah's channel. She is worth a subscription. I pop on every now and then too. Like all like the time. <laughs> But, you know, it's all about Sarah and what she does in her wonderful life, so definitely check it out. <laughs> life. You have a wonderful life! You do! Oh. I get to, like, see it firsthand, and, like, oh. I, I think it's, I think well, it's wonderful. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> please remember to give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching! Bye!